Hi all, it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have a haul to share today. I went to Target and Hobby Lobby. I found some clearance things. I didn't find some, everything I was looking for, but found a few things I wasn't looking for. So um, I picked up this, me and my big ideals, craft room labels. I thought it might come in handy. It's got a lot of different um, craft words in it, you know, for marking things. But but maybe some of that I would use, so I'll give it a shot. Um, then I'm going to go to the wedding area first, because I did go over there and look. I found these organza flowers. There's supposed to be five of them in there. I've only seen four, but I suppose there could be a fifth one hidden behind. And they were 99 cents. Then there were these lace flowers. I bought a set in white. These were also 99 cents. I bought a set in beige. Then I bought this craft wire for 99 cents. I thought it might work good either on a paper project or on a wreath. So that was kind of my thought process when I picked that up. And then I found these little hearts. I think it says there's 36 of them there. It was 74 cents. I thought those I could use on Valentine projects. So they don't usually go over in the wedding area because a lot of times I find that stuff. Well, some of it you can use in paper crafting. Sometimes it's more expensive just because it seems like if it's in the wedding area. It's like if it says it's for paper crafting, storage is more expensive. Um, the rest of it, the rest of the clearance stuff is from the paper crafting area. I found these little rosettes for $1.24. I found these um, stickers. They're me and my big ideals. I would probably use them in my planner. It's called Be Well. I always like when I can find the fitness health related ones. I wish they would do more, more actual health related ones like for blood pressure and blood work and vaccinations and that type of thing. I found some different bows marked a dollar. This one was marked a dollar twenty four. Hmm. Actually this one was marked the wrong price. It should have been marked ninety nine cents because seventy five percent off three ninety nine is ninety nine cents. But that's okay. I thought they were pretty. The other ones that are the same same type of bows just different design same price are marked correctly at 99 cents i bought two packs of this one because i found two of that one this one i just bought one there were more but i just bought one i think i was more likely to use the other ones more of them i found these girls that are there's one for each month of the year and those ones were 74 cents i thought they were cute I'd seen somebody share those ones. And then I found three stamp sets. I found this one. This one was marked $3.99. Um, happiness can only exist in acceptance. Don't worry, we, you've got this. Love cometh like sunshine after rain. May you experience the peace and joy of acceptance. It's got a lot of just, you know, kind of uplifting type quotes. And then this one was a bow bunny one. That you are my moon and stars. Um, there are hundreds of languages, but a smile speaks them all. I like that one. But I thought those might work well in just kind of thinking of you type cards, or a few of them will work for other things. That one was March $1.49. Now they had the sewing one, but I really wanted the simplicity set with the girls and kind of the vintage outfits. But my, my, store did not have that one left. I was also looking for the cat one. They had the dog one left, but the cat one was gone. I was looking for the brayer. And I think I've seen a few people share some other sentiment stamps for different occasions that I wanted and they didn't have them. If, if the pandemic wasn't going on, I probably would have asked Chubby to drive across town and let me look at the other Hobby Lobby, but I didn't want to be out any more than I already was. And then I found this set of sacks. These were the only ones of size that I they had, my store had left, and they only had the one pack, so I picked it up. 
they were marked down to 249. I figured these would be good for making treat bags for the neighbor kids. And then fabric was 30% off this week, so I picked up a couple of grains because I'm going to be doing St. Patrick's Day mask. And if I do them for me and hubby, I like to do the inside in a different color so we know whose is whose. Even though I make them different sizes, sometimes it's hard to tell until you put it on and then it's like, oh, this isn't this isn't the right size. And I do the same with my daughters. One of them wears a smaller size than the other one. So I like to put two different shades in so that they can tell. We hadn't done that until this last time and I realized, oh, and this is when I gave, gave my daughters their Valentine one. She goes, oh, because I did pink on one and red on the other one. She goes, that's a good idea because some of our Christmas ones, they're exactly alike and sometimes we don't know until we go to put them on like oh this is either too big or too small depending on which who grabbed which one and then I picked up this um, bowl scraper I liked the other color better but this one was easier to read the measurement conversions so I went with the darker one there was a lighter color one that I liked and I thought well the measurement conversions would be nice and then I used a coupon on the, this. Actually, I had Hubby use a coupon on this item, the Tiffany store and go back. I want to put my Misty and the accessories for that. And if the stamp scrubber will fit too in here, I'd really like the double sided bag for that, but um, Hubby Lovey doesn't carry the double sided bag. So I'm just going to use the single sided one. And I use the 40% off coupon for the Irene Buddy bag. I'm planning every week until they stop doing their coupons to pick up Tiffany items when I can. And then I bought some more polyfill. And of course this one is one of those your price items. So that's the price you get it for. It's never on sale because they technically consider that a sale and they can't use coupon on it either. So I picked that up. And then at Target, they had some vinyl in the Bullseye Playground. Um, so I picked up this one, which kind of shows the designs that it has in it there. Kind of a grayish brown color, I guess. And then this one is kind of a what I consider a peach color. And I think it's the same patterns, just different color. I picked up that one and then when I was down the aisle that they have their Cricut Joy in they had this style of card on clearance they had two of them so I took both of them so that I I was hoping that Hobby Lobby would have some of these marked down but so far there's nothing in the aisle where the Cricut and the punches and dies are there's nothing marked down in that one and there's also nothing marked down in the planner aisle the aisle with the stamps it looks like they've been down one side but not the other I mean it doesn't have stamps on the other side but the opposite side has like the Tim Holtz stuff um, I think it might have like the the paper paper flowers and whatever over there none of that stuff was marked down there was there wasn't a single red tag on that side of the aisle and like I said there was nothing down the planner aisle marked down there were a few in my store across from the planners I think most of them are the same is the um, scrapbooks they did have a couple of photo albums scrapbook albums marked down but none of the planner supplies were marked down and like I said in the aisle that has the Cricut and the vinyl and the dies and the punches there wasn't anything marked down yet so I'm hoping Maybe next week when I go, there'll be some of that marked down. They'll probably do it at the end of this weekend. I'll miss most of it, but that's okay. In a couple of weeks, Hobby has a dental appointment, and that's on the other side of town where the other Hobby Lobby is. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with when he goes, and I'm going to stop, drop me there while he goes to the dentist, and I'm going to see if they happen to have anything left. At that point, they probably won't, but. Sometimes you can't tell. Sometimes what sells out quickly at one store, the other store doesn't sell them out. Um, I think that's all that I had to really share today. I'm working on Valentine, trying to finish up my Valentine projects. I am working on the 100 day project again. 
I might try to do a video uh, like every 10 days or so uh, with that. And I think today is, actually I think today is day 10 to show what I've, what I've done during that, that time. Just, it'll just be a video with pictures and music. It won't be, I probably won't do any intro or anything to it, but, um, I should remember when I take those pictures to take them on my iPad too, so that it'd be easier. I'm going to have to download them to my iPad and then start from there. But that's kind of all that I've, I've been doing good. I've been getting something done every day with that. Um, my my project is to create or organize every day and I did not limit myself to craft room organization or even crafting in general like one day I baked cookies and I thought that's creating so I went with it um, I'm just kind of being really general so that I stick with it and get it done I was thinking maybe next year I might try a hundred day project of a card every day but I should write that down as an in my little book of as an ideal to maybe do next year I'm trying to I printed out some card sketches to kind of inspire me to use my um, stamps of life ones I was good. I did not order on Super Bowl Sunday. They had a new release, and I really liked the um, Shamrock Folded, and they had a... The Shamrock stamp set, I guess, was, an, was one that's been around a while, but they came out with a die set to match it, and I don't have the stamp set either, so I did think about those three items, but I was good and didn't. I'm waiting for some Tiffany stuff that's supposed to be being released through Stamps of Life. They're hoping sometime this month. They were hoping last month, but the ports are so backed up that they didn't did not arrive. So I'm hoping to that to get some of that, and I'm watching for stuff to come in from Tiffany. And if that doesn't come in soon, I know it's not going to be till March because um, or later because it's Chinese New Year, and evidently everything over there. For Chinese New Year, pretty much the month of February, they shut down everything. So I can't imagine this country doing that. <laughs> Not that I necessarily think it's a bad thing, but <laughs> I just can't imagine them doing that here. But that's really all I've got to share today. I just wanted to hop on, show you what I got, what I found at Hobby Lobby. Like I said, there were a few things that I had seen other people share that I wanted. There were also some stamp pads that I'd seen people share. Some of the archival, car, archival ones. And I think there was another one, but I can't remember what it was. That I thought, oh, I want to look for that. And that area was just empty. Where there, I mean, there were lots of stamp pads there, but there were empty slots. And I'm assuming that's where the clearance ones had been. So I didn't find any. I would have liked to have stopped at Michael's too because I've seen people sharing some of the memento inks have been on clearance there as well as some stamps and dies but we limited ourselves to well we went to Target and um, Hobby Lobby we also bought groceries before we did that it, it was so cold I had to be like let's just do it all today and it's cold enough that the groceries are going to be fine sitting in the car while we go into Target and Hobby Lobby I said I think the bigger problem is going to be something might freeze that's not supposed to freeze because it's really cold out here anyways thanks for joining me i'll catch you next time i forgot to share one thing i got my new stamps of life um february stamp kit it's the dragonflies to stamp so that's the stamp set if you're just in the stamp club this is what you get I'm in the Die Hard Club, so you get the stamp and the die. And then she gives you the little card that kind of shows the extras that you can get with it that you can buy optionally and some card ideas. So I meant to share that in the video, and I totally forgot about it until I was going to kind of put things away, and I'm like, oh. I forgot to share that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.